Thanks for tuning in to another unboxing video by Ray Screws. As I look to broaden the types of content that I provide on my channel, Greenlight provided this case right here of the Hitch and Toe Series 4 assortment. I want to thank Greenlight for uh, providing this so that we can unbox it and take a look at some of their trucks. There's a lot of brands on the market, and I would... I would like to be able to give each of them at least a little bit of time as much as possible. Now, if uh, the companies help me provide these to you, then I can show them to you. It helps me. I see we have, uh, looks like uh, three pairs. Nope, four different models in the assortment. Here we have the Hitch and Toe 2014 Ram 1500 and Horse Trailer. Very nice. Let's take a look at the back so you can see the package. Four different models in this set, if you'd like, includes adjustable trailer jack. Now there was one of them in the case. Here's another one, 2013 Ford Explorer and boat with trailer. I think this is the first time that they had a boat on the uh, Hitch and Tow series. Very nice. There's a look at the back. Uh, it looks the same. I don't see any difference in the back real quick. Looks like we have two. Hey, fancy that. Collectibles being packed with paper so that try to keep the package as nice as possible. Looks like we have two of these Krispy Kreme trucks. You have the 1968 Chevrolet C10 and concession trailer. Very nice. Well, we open them up. Right now we're just uh, taking a look at the packaging. And... Wow, look at that. Very nice. You have a 1962 Dodge D100 and Shasta Air Flight. Wow, that looks really nice. I like those wheels. A peek at the back. Looks the same. I don't see nothing different with, the, with them. Okay, let's get them on the turntable and check out some of the details. Before I open it up, I want to make sure that you know that if you open yours up, you have your trailer stand. I, I don't know what that is. Trailer stand. You put it right here so that, you know, the trailer, you can you can park your trailer. It's right here in the corner. So when you open it up, don't throw that away. You're going to need this. I think they started putting this here now because they used to have it on the trailer in the first assortments. We're already up to number four. This is series four. And sometimes that'd be loose, wobbling around in the package. They Sometimes I think they wanted to have it here, but maybe uh, because of it loose in the package, maybe... It got lost and stuff, so I like that they put it here, but just make sure that you don't throw that away. Another thing is, you're going to notice that this, uh, I have two of these, right? This wheel's a little wonky. Look, it's uh, it's not round on the rim. Well, that's because they have a multi-piece tire. It's a rubber tire on the rim. Now, if you have multiples, you know, look for one that has one that's a little bit better. If you're going to open yours up anyways, take this wonky one off the pegs. This way you can fix it and make it nice. And then people who like theirs in the package, I think leave this one for them. This way the store gets to sell too. Uh, you know, help them out. And if it doesn't matter to you, you can open it up. Open it up. Let's start off with the 1962 Dodge D100. Nice details. You have Dodge printed on the side. Got door handles printed. Also windshield wipers. Nice details. And check out the white roof. Two colors. You have the white roof and the orange body. The tires are rubber tires, two piece. So you have your hub and your rubber tires, multi piece rubber tires. In the front, you got printing for your headlights, your grill, uh, your bumper. Very nice. And it does say Dodge right here on this leading edge as well. Yeah, opening hood on this model. Let me get it open here. There you go. I'm sure your car guys would know what kind of uh, engine that would be. It's supposed to be on this model here. Big old uh, carburetor, I guess, on there. Is that a carburetor inside? Sorry, it's hard for me to... When I get close in, it's hard for me to stay still so that you can see real nicely. Looks like this would be the gas cap. Or, yeah, gas cap. Got a little black dot right there. And in the back, you have the trailer hitch. And you do have uh, tail light tampos. Dodge in the back as well. And there's the bed if you didn't get a chance to see the bed. Me metal body. Let me close the hood. Metal body, metal base. And if you want to see what it says there, you can pause what it says. Uh, yeah, all of these are licensed models. None of these are uh, fancy castings that they came up with. Uh, so it's nice to see that's what you're paying for. 
getting a little extra value in your die cast collectible nice for your collection by the way these are intended for eight and up because they have the rubber tires and small parts these are not intended for the uh, smallest collector unless they know how to take care of their stuff the dodge d100 came with the shasta air flight wow <laughs> this let me tell you this is a cool piece let's see i think it was a metal body it has a metal this part is metal and the base though is plastic appears to be no i'm sorry this is a metal base metal base metal body it does appear to me it could be mistaken by the way it was a little tricky for me to get the um, trailer hitch uh the trailer stand on there a little tricky to get it screwed in there maybe that's why they just do it on the package so that we can do it ourselves because it would take a long time for them to get that in for everyone if you notice i did scratch the black paint that's because uh, I use tweezers so that I can get in between here and I use this to screw it in. Uh, I probably should have used like tissue in between my tweezers and then grabbed it so that I wouldn't scratch the black paint. But uh, it's all right. Uh, so the first time I learned and the next time I know better. Here you look. Check it out. You have running lights on the side. Orange. And that one looks like red for brakes, I guess. Nice two-tone paint. Wow, look at this nice stripe going down the middle right on the button. In between the two colors very nice you got silver trimmer on the outside for the door of course you got a vent right it's gonna be hot in there so you got a vent up on top in front you got printing right there mm, now that must say Shasta that's what I'm gonna guess it says right there because it's a Shasta air flight so it should say Shasta once again you see the trim all around the windows nice detailing two-piece rubber tires again and I did play with the wheels a bit trying to straighten them out maybe if I warm them up uh, they would sit better check it out look right there you got your little tank uh, you would what kind of gas do you put in there I don't travel so I don't know what the propane it's probably a propane tank right and look how it sits nice you got your stand in there look how it sits nice and level with your stand and I'll go ahead and give it a one time around once again you got printing there I didn't point out before Let's go ahead and hook them up to the truck. I had to use my tweezers again to get this uh, retracted so that it's uh, now ready to be hooked onto the truck. And there you go. And that's how you would display it. Ooh, for a second there, I thought I broke it. Looks pretty good. I'm going to roll them around afterwards. I'm going to review all four of the pairs, and then I'll roll them around on the carpet to see if they uh, stay hitched together. 1968 Chevrolet C10. Wow, very nice. I love I love these big body styles. By the way, I already pointed out the details in the first one, so you know what to look for as far as your adult collectibles. You, you can see the features that I mentioned before, and you can see that they're included here. Look at that little detail right there. They hit it right on the button right there for the Chevy logo. That's Chevrolet right there. On top, you got the uh, KK Krispy Kreme logo. Again, side markers. Look at that stance. Classic look. Just regular. Nobody tinkered around with it to make it look like it was right for a certain brand of die cast car. Kept the stock. Uh, real nice. Nice tribute to the original manufacturer for this 1968 Chevrolet C10. Of course, the C10 came with the concession trailer. <laughs> this is a fun piece. I can't imagine what they're going to do with this in the future. Now, Greenlight, they do make limited editions and stuff for different manu for different. You can order, you know, you can order so many pieces and have them make uh, custom runs. Um, not small, not a hundred, you know, but I, I don't know what their limits are. But if you order thousands of pieces, you can get uh, special releases. Uh, I've seen that on their website before. I forgot to put the, uh, did I not screw this in all the way or did it pop back out? So Krispy Kreme donuts, donuts and coffee since 1937. Look at all those tanks in the front. Well, yeah, of course, uh, you need propane to heat up that uh, oil so you can cook your donuts. Original glazed donuts, $1 for a single donut. Wow, and the printing on these is fantastic. It's fantastic, it just dawned on me. Sorry, I paused, I was thinking, oh my, look at this, we're in business. Uh, Yes, can I help you? What would you like? Thank you. Wow. Let's see what we have on the other side. Yeah, looks like we're going to have another one. 
Careful. Ooh, <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Fun stuff. Now let's open the door. No, the door don't open. Come on, man. Look on top. You got your vents? Yeah, this. Uh, sorry, this is a cool piece. Let me get that thing screwed in. Yeah, I, I must have pushed down on it because you got to be careful. You can strip that screw and uh, if I push down on this, it'll go poof, right back down. So I want to be careful. I want it to display nice and level. This, this is a, a very cool piece. It's nice that they uh, call it a concession trailer so they can, they can do it for other things as well. Not just Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, I can't tell you how excited I'm about this. Uh, you know already. And there they are hooked together. And yeah, I must have, uh, I think might be stripped a little bit there because this is this is sliding down really easy. So I think that uh, if I'm going to have it on display and this here, I'm probably uh, in a display. I'm probably going to just take this and store it over there while I display it hitched up. Hitch and tow, that's what he's ready to do. And then, uh, of course, you can't be driving down the road with these open. you got to close these up. You don't want them to get knocked off going down the road. Yep, cool piece. You know I love this one, but I, I wonder if someone's got a little inside joke putting this in the same set as the one with the uh, police vehicle. I don't know. Might be having a little joke on the inside. Here you have the NYPD model. This is a 2014 Ram 1500. It comes with the horse trailer. We'll check out that horse trailer in a moment. But yeah, this this thing's this is a nice long. Uh, looks like it's to scale, real nice and long on the base. It's actually a license on the base. It says that it, uh, 2015, City of New York. So, yeah, they did pay for the license to put, uh, to have NYPD on here. Uh, I didn't test to see if this hood opened. By the way, uh, I can't get this one open and this one. The hood doesn't open. I don't know if it's supposed to open, but I did get the hood to open on that orange Dodge D100 in the beginning. Uh, whereas the other two trucks had printing for the headlights, this one actually has a plastic insert. Uh, I really like that detail. I know some people don't like it in models. I personally, I like seeing that. And then you can see all the details along the side. By the way, no inkjet printing. It looks like nice, solid tampos. Um, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, here you go, please. Here, got a light bar on the top. This piece here, it seems plastic to me, but metal base, metal body. Yeah, nice big trailer. You need a big truck to tow that uh, police, that police trailer. You got the, they call it a horse trailer. And yeah, that's what it would be for the uh, horse trailer. It's for the mounted unit. This way, uh, the police can store, take their horses to and from where they're going to do their propulsion. Um, patrolling nice nice texture you got that uh, diamond great texture right there very nice here you have windows are they plastic windows or are they painted looks like they're just painted black but the uh, Krispy Kreme the Krispy Kreme you can see right in there even though these are black windows the Krispy Kreme they had it has clear windows you can see in there it's just an empty box so ain't nothing to see but at least it's clear windows. You can't see inside the model. This one, it just is uh, black. Look like black painted windows. Uh, it seems to be a plastic, uh, plastic, 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 but uh, metal base. Nice to have metal base. This way it makes it nice and centered. And yeah, guess what? We got doors in the back. Oh, I got to take the tape off. Look, it's got a little piece of tape here. Wow, now you just need some horsies. Any horsies? Nope, no horsies in there. This is another cool piece to have in the set. I really like what they're doing with the hitch and tow. Kind of uh, better than other brands who have done hitch and tow series. This is, this is just definitely a cut above the others intended for the adult collector. Uh, not, not necessarily for playing. I guess you could play with it. But these parts right here, this, this part right here is very delicate. And snapping it on and off a model is probably a little bit tricky. Okay, got it. Uh, now, while there's some kids who are really good with their stuff and they would take care of it, you know, this is a this is this is a something that's 
probably best for display rather than play. And these two pieces look fantastic together for your display. Last up, we have the 2013 Ford Explorer. Now this one also looks like it has a plastic insert for the windows. Nice details, nice printing. You have silver trim up along this edge, doorknobs. Look, side view mirrors. Not every model had side view mirrors. I noticed the first two trucks did not have side view mirrors, but uh, this one did have side view mirrors, as well as this one in the back. Nice tinted windows. Nice, look at those fine details. Beautiful job. Let's have a look at the top. Metal body, metal base. And it is, as usual, 2013 Ford Explorer used under license. Ain't no fantasy castings in this line. Well, maybe I should clarify. This isn't really a fantasy casting. This is this is just a generic boat and trailer that they came up with to pair up with the 2013 Ford Explorer. Here you go around the merry-go-round. Uh, it has a propeller. Uh, it does not spin though, but you do see little markers on the side as they have done with the other models as well. Once again, you have your hitch in front, rubber tires, cut your wheels, and I'm going to roll them around right after this. You have a clear window, silver trim around the window for the details. You got a spot, you go right through there. You're in the boat, you're going to come up front, you're going to sun yourself, go off for a drive does have these posts right here. I'm not sure if these are the snap. These are like the snaps, I think, to snap on the cover. And speaking of which, it does have a cover for if you get metal base, metal boat, plastic interior. It seems plastic to me. And it has a cover here for the back part of the boat. And then for the front part, this part actually snaps in. So I'm going to do this part first. There you go. Snaps right in. Uh, this one, it looked like I couldn't get it to snap on. It just kind of sits there, but it still looks good. And then, it's just like your little boat, you're going to go out for your, uh, go off for the weekend. You got your little car, and you're going to go out for the weekend with your Ford Explorer and your little boat and trailer. Now, some of the hitches, they snap on, and then some they did not. It just kind of posts on it. I'm not sure if they're supposed to hook, but look, yeah, pulls on pretty good. For those of you who like to roll your vehicles around, be gentle. And I think it'll be just fine. Intended for eight and up. Really like that <laughs> that one. The boat's cool. The boat's a nice addition to the hitch and tow lineup. And of course, those of those people who like uh, their police vehicles, this one. Hmm, one of my tires is a little rubber, a little sticky. Maybe I can, maybe I gotta roll it around wear it in so that it can roll yeah what a what a nice set from green light thanks again green light for uh, providing these to me so that i could share this with my audience happy collecting bye bye